da. And we're back with another one. We got two back to backs. What's up with that? It's all good, right? So, um, why not? Energy is up. We all need it. Especially when you first get into the truth. You remember back when you first got your feet wet, just getting into the truth of how you could just get information all day. All you wanted to do is just stay home, get away from the evils of the world, and just learn, get closer with the Most High, and pray and fellowship. So we'll take this time to fellowship. Again, right now we are at 1.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, USA. So wherever you are in the world, thank you for joining Real TV. Very important that I give gratitude to every listener that's a regular, that's been with me since day one. I appreciate you. So, you know, especially for y'all, I want to give you another black hand. Again, we in the AM. Um, it is April 25th, 2019. And we're going to do another show. This one is called Plant a Garden. We're going live right now. So um, the chat room, you're more than welcome to join. I won't be too long-winded tonight. I do have to take care of some things and um, get some sleep. I've been up for a long time, but I count it all joy. Today's show is called Plant a Garden. Just hit you with the Build Your Temple previously and I want to do the follow-up with plant your garden plant a garden and um, I give you some insight on what's what so just to follow up we're reading from Jeremiah chapter 29 and we emphasize the fifth verse okay now in the fifth verse it says build ye houses and dwell in them And plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. So we also are giving another instruction, of course, to plant a garden. And I mentioned how I got some plants for the crib. And um, ironically, some of the plants that I chose are from Africa. Like one is called rabbit's foot. And it looks something like parsley. And it's very, very, I mean, it's still a baby, but it can grow up to 12 feet long. It could could be as long as a curtain, you know, and uh, it's just something about having plants in the home man, in the crib, man. Like, I know some of y'all have had flowers here and there. You may even have some fake fake fruit on on the table or something, but... There's just something about plants, and I want to challenge you. I challenge you. Hold up. Hold up. Let me go ahead and put a disclaimer. I am not a certified botanist, okay? So if you have any allergies, if you know you shouldn't be around certain things, um, or if you may have any unknown allergies, Seek professional advice. (laughs) Okay, I have to throw that in there. It's sad that we have to do that in today's time, but hey, it is what it is. Now I want to say what I want to say. I challenge you to get a plant. Okay, now we know there are some steps to get to where the Most High wants us to be. In order to build a house, we have to get land. In order to get land, you got to save up some money. In order to, you know, before you get to even that point, You have to decide where you want to stay. You have to decide where you would like to have a family. You know, not only that, but you have to look into the future and say to yourself, okay, if I do have sons and daughters and or children, is this the area that I want to pass down? Is this type of land and city and state something that I want to hand over? Now, I understand that we are at the 400-year mark. 
and we are at the brink of leaving Babylon. But until then, we still have to take heed to Scripture to the best way that we can. We, there's no telling that we're going to get on ships and leave this year. There's, that's not a fact. But there's a time that we, in our lifetime, will happen to go back to Africa at some point. It may not be this year. It may be next year. It could be this year. But it's very soon. That's all that we can say. But until then, we still have to take measures to get to the place that Yahweh wants us to be. So you have to plan accordingly. Got to get your money up. Have to decide where you want to live to build your house and to have your family and to plant these gardens. Okay? So I challenge you to get a plant, whatever type of plant it is, to get... To get something, get something this week. If you don't, if you can't get it, okay, save up five dollars a week if you can. <laughs> Some people may not have the money. I know it's, it may sound funny, but I've been there when my account was negative, negative hundred some dollars. I used to keep, I used to go to the bank and overdraft and overdraft, could consistently, like I, I depended on the overdraft. I didn't have any credit cards, anything. I got to the point where I was doing that. And I, I would literally keep my receipt, and I wrote on the top of my receipt, I would never order. I, I'll put like um, $1 million in something you would have, you would be a millionaire, and you will not have to ever overdraft again and stuff like that. And I would write it, and I would put it on the, on the bathroom mirror so I could see it every time I brush my teeth. Every day I would see it. And then after like two months, man, I'm like, man, I ain't becoming a millionaire, man. Forget this job. I'm throwing this job in the trash, man. You know, but I have faith and I still do. I'm at a better place. But in so many words, if you don't have the money, if you could save a dollar a week, <laughs> okay? If you could save a dollar a week and get to $5, you can get a small plant for about three ninety eight. With tax, you're probably looking at 409, okay? 412 with tax, depending on where you live. But you can get what you can get. Um, there are so many different type of plants that you can start off with. Though you don't have a garden, but you have to get in the mindset. You understand? You have to get in the mindset. Like, I have a goal to leave the area that I'm at to get land and to literally build my house with my own hands. And to get in that mindset, I watch videos of other people building homes. I look at the type of material. I look at land. I'm surveying land online to see what's the best area. I'm looking at the radius of what's, sur what's around me. I'm, I'm looking at the laws of that area to see what I can do, you know, because I want to build a well on my land so I can have water. I'm looking at what the cost. I'm counting the cost. You understand? You have to get in that mindset. Now, mind you, this is a full <clears throat> a full year from now of today. Next year this time, I want to be in a I plan to be in a better place. So I'm taking measures. I get an additional job on the side, putting some stacking the money up or whatever. You know what I mean? And getting in that mind frame. So though you may not have your own home that you've built Okay, because we have to move from this rented thing. We have to move out of this, out of this whole um, situation that we're in, and that we haven't been taught properly. Well, now you get in a proper education. So if you can save five dollars a week, you can get you a plant, and you can start with something just to get in the mindset, and then from there you could go on to other things. Now I'm not talking about going get you uh, some Mary Jane. And get a humidifier and a, a, a bright light and putting it in a dark room for a period of time. I'm not telling you because you, if you get caught up with that and in your wrong state, uh, with legal or not legal, just, you know, do the right thing. Okay. And um, I'm not saying get Mary Jane and grow it in your crib. So. The type of plants that you could start off with or just some ideas to help with any allergies that you may have. You know, summer's coming about and 
it can help with humidity it can help you breathe better sleep a little better at night and um some of the plants that are popular as far as air purifying uh house plants are one the spider plant you have peace lilies i'm not a i'm not a huge fan of peace lilies like i like the leaves of peace lilies but the lilies themselves they get a little wilted and die off uh like when they're bright pure white i love it you know but they get so wilted so quickly even though this is an indoor plant that needs little light and little water all these plants i'm na naming needs little to uh little to no water at all for a period of time and little light okay these are all indoor plants one of my favorite i like the um i like the palm tree i like the uh the areca palm tree beautiful beautiful grows no more than one to two feet high um you can get you some ivy you know like common ivy some sword ferns evergreens um you know collard greens butter beans you know <laughs> no, no 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 not that but i am going to talk about some indoor plants that you can have also i mean as far as the the list you can you can scroll through on your own and see what's what but there's so many that you can get and then there's something about a sense of pride that gives you uh taking care of a plant you know children or without children but especially without it gives you a sense of responsibility you have to make sure that it's taken care of you know it's taking care of you it's purifying the air it gives a freshness to your place so i challenge you to get a plant i challenge you to plant a garden that's the name of the show, Plant a Garden. And to get started, you have to start somewhere, even if it's a year from now, even if it's months from now. You could take that same plant that you initially started with and then put it in your original garden whenever you get it at the time. All right? So this is your motivation 101, to start somewhere. I challenge you. And let's just see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. Just start off with one, it'll, and it'll be fun. But it gives you a sense of responsibility. You can take care of it. Um, it can last, you know, it'll last for years, depending on if you take care of, it, care of it well or not, you know. And, um, yeah. So, another thing that got me is the type of indoor plants that you can have. Easy plants that grow indoors, mind-boggling absolutely amazing absolutely amazing i mean literally you can have you can plant a garden you may not be in your own home okay you may got to get some things taken care of before you can actually move away and do the things you want to do whether it's tackle debt de first and you know with a b c and d but at least you can cross some of the things off the list the most high wants to see your sincerity he wants to see you yearn for him that's all he wants. So what got me and what I'm inspired by as far as indoor plants, I'm, I might have this thing looking like the Amazon because these seven plants that I have right now, actually eight. One, two, three. Yeah, actually eight. Man, it's, it's, it's beautiful, man. But... What got me as far as the indoor plants, I'm not just talking about basil and sage and thyme and rosemary. I'm not talking about little window plants that you can grow. Even though those are, those are fine. Those are great herbs and parsley. I'm not talking about that. Now, when I mean indoor plants, I mean you can literally start to change your life and, and reap the benefits and the rewards of doing what you have to do and not only will it save you money but again it'll, it'll, it'll build a sense of a sense of of charity a sense of a feeling of success um honor you know if you have children you can pass these traits along to teach them how to have a green thumb 
it, it'll, it'll build physical fitness. Because if you do happen to morph outdoors, you know, you got to you gotta plow the land. You got to change the dirt. You got to dig the ground and, and plant and pluck and twist the fruit and vegetables, the nuts, you know, things like that. You got to gather. You got to store it, pickle it. You could sell some. You know what I mean? The, the options are limitless. Not only that, but you can eat healthier. And the way the world is going, they're taking seeds out of everything. Who knows what, what the food may be in the future? They're already 3D printing stuff. I mean, they got 3D uh, uh, fruits and vegetables and all this stuff. Willy Wonka and the whole thing. They got the Impossible Burger. It's not even uh, every... I mean, come on, man. They're taking the seeds out of everything. So why not get it while we can? The Most High is telling us for a reason because the way that the world is going, we need to do it before it's too late. We need to get started before it's too late. We need to plant a garden. A lot of us don't have the expertise. Yeah, that's true. A lot of us may not... may have never had a role model to teach us besides our teacher when we were in elementary. They may have taught us how to grow a green bean, and then after that we've never did anything close to gardening for the rest of our lives. But let's go back to the root. Let's go back to the root of things. Here's some indoor plants that you can literally grow indoors and... It'll be life changing to you. Okay, so let me go here. One sec. You know, I had a, uh, I had a personal list in a cart. You know, how you, you have you ever, uh, Added some stuff to a cart and you go back to the cart and dang on your cart is empty. Dang on, man. I had a whole cart full of stuff. Full of seeds I'm, I'm about to get, man. And, and indoor my thing, man. Alright. So it is what it is. Let me find you something else. So here's some indoor plants you can do. You could do ginger. If you like ginger, you can do indoor ginger. Ginger. Chives. Carrots. Um, parsley. You could do certain type of mushrooms. Mushrooms should be an easy one, right? Um, you have, um, avocado that you can do indoors. Radish, microgreens, lemon and basil, coriander, rosemary, parsley. You have sage. You could do potatoes. Man, imagine potatoes. Homemade french fries, homemade potato chips. I mean, why even buy chips anymore? You know what I'm saying? Like, my thing is cut. Like, we need to cut the middle, man. If you love french fries, you love potatoes, why buy potato chips? When you could buy your own seasoning, you can get a potato cutter and you can make your own potato chips. Why, if you like fries, why keep buying a bag of fries when you can get a a bag of potatoes like right now for like one ninety nine. cut them up, you soak them in some cold water for about 20 minutes or so, and then you dry them off and then you fry them in the oil, season them up, you got your french fries right there, done, easy, done. I mean, if you want to spruce it up, of course, you can add a little flour, a little seasoning, so the season can actually stick to the potato, fry it, drain it. Add just a touch of season, boom, done. I mean, why not? Got um, oranges, mint, lettuce, and different herbs that we know. Um, not only that, but check this out. Man, I wish I had that list. I lost my list, but check it. There's still some other great things that you can grow indoors that are mind-boggling. For one, you can grow a dwarf banana tree indoors we talking about fresh bananas fresh bananas it'll take a while to get there but you can do it you can grow 
it, avocados indoors. The tree will grow up to one to uh one to two feet high for fresh organic avocados indoor. Indoor. Okay? You can do uh blueberries. You can do blueberries. You can also do a uh Meyer lemon tree Meyer lemon tree. If you never had a Meyer lemon, my Meyer lemons have a um it, it looks like a lemon. It tastes a little bit like a lemon, but it has a little sweetness to it. It's like a sweet lemon, almost. It still has a tartness, but it's it's more so sweet than tart. But you can grow that indoors. Um, and the tree will grow from one to two feet high. You also can do a clementine, or some known as uh, mandarin trees. You can grow two to three feet high. In the crib. Kiwis. If you like kiwis, you could do kiwi. You could do um, fig trees. You also can do, um, man, it, it's just so many, man. Goodness, if that's not enough to, to tickle your fancy, I don't, I don't know what it is. But we're talking about planting a garden here, and I challenge you to start. I challenge you to get at least one plant, something to be responsible for. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for tonight's show. Ah, I hope this was, uh, I hope this helped you out a bit. Um, man, I, I have to pray. I really have to pray because, again, I'm, I am, I am only human. And I have a taste for a, 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 a half a dozen Krispy Kreme right now. I can go for a dang on raspberry or lemon filled donut right now. Like, or a, a slice of cake, slice of pizza. I don't know if you, if you really doing Passover, you feeling me right now on this. Like a slice of pizza right now and just shopping, man, and looking at snacks and chips and stuff, man, I'm looking, I'm double, triple checking the label. And I see yeast, I see leavening, or it says leaven, or or yeast extract, and all this stuff. I'm like, man, dang, man, there's so much yeast and everything. It, it's, it really makes you thankful. You don't know what you got till it's gone. And, like, when you can't have it, it's like when you want it the most. I'm telling you, my goodness. So, like, probably Saturday or Sunday night, I'm probably going to order a large pizza. I'm probably going to get a large cake. And just appreciate, um, just appreciate, man, because I got to pray. <laughs> but it's all good, man. I'm, I'm uh, uh, slate. I might eat a little yogurt real quick and get ready for tomorrow. So just want to give you another back-to-back. -back. But um, in the mix, you know the Avengers Endgame is coming out on Friday. So you know we got to watch that. I still have two other films that I want to put together before that. If I can get to it, I'll try. I did sneak a um, a film. I did sneak Dame, and that was only a minute long. But what I've been putting together, I've been gathering information for about four days. And um, I still haven't been able to get to it. I've been so busy with other stuff I have to take care of and working out taking care of my temple and you know just relaxing enjoying this holy passage that um I really haven't gotten to it but there's two videos I want to drop and uh us is coming out soon us explain or however I'm going to title that get out part two if you will um that'll be coming up soon and um another film that I'm working on. Be kind of short, but just something to get you by doing this Passover time. You know, we should, it's still a time of celebration. It's still a time of celebration. But if you need to go back to that scripture and study up, you can go to Jeremiah 29, read the whole chapter, or you can go down to verse 5. Um, but yeah, man, that's the word plant your own garden. In the meanwhile, I want to hit you up with this new track. It's called Our Father. Hot off the press. I made it 
just less, pardon me, just less than an hour ago. And it's called Our Father. So I hope you enjoy it just as much as I did creating it. This is a freestyle that came from the heart. One love and stay tuned for the next show. Michael Israel, your host, Real TV. All glory to the Most High. He's worthy to be praised. So let us pray. And we'll praise our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and yeah, forgive us our, our debts as we forgive our, our debtors. We lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen heavenly father i thank you for the life you've given me and i praise you so sincerely and i praise you so cheerfully i'm so thankful for everything you've done our father which are in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen 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 i just want to take this time to praise you oh lord you deserve the praise you deserve the praise heavenly father your kingdom will come on earth your word is true your word is always true, and your word is forever. You change not, but you have given us this opportunity to repent unto you and to live our best life, to do the best that we can. So we honor you, Father, and thank you for everything that you're continuing to do in our lives. You're more than worthy to be praised, Yahweh. Thank you so much, Father. Bless those. Protect those. Make them men and women of you, O oh Heavenly Father. Thank you, our Father.